Hi, Lindsay. This is Lee. I was just going to give you a couple of tips. I was going to make you a how to trace video, but it looks like you figured that out. So I'm instead, I'm just going to give you a couple of um, tips for tracing that can make things go faster. So here's our design, and I added a couple of comments about this design. It's adorable. It's so cute, and I have some information about the, the artist who actually drew this in the comments, and it's an interesting story. So I'm going to show you um, a different way to use the, use the Bezier tool, and that is if I click on it here and then go up to the mode up here at the top, Normally, the way you use the Bezier tool is this one right here, which is regular Bezier path. You can also use a Spiro path, okay? Now, just to show you what that does, it basically smooths out your path, so you can make little curly cues and smooth curves, all right? And that can come in handy when you're tracing. So, I'm going to trace his little um, belly patch here and using the uh, Spiro path. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in using the plus key, click on the Bezier tool, make sure I'm on Spyro, and then I'll just start here, and you basically just click around exactly on the curve, and whatever algorithm Inkscape uses, it traces the curve nice and smooth. Now, to move this, like I'm doing, I to move it over, I click the scroll bar on the key on my mouse, and then drag, and I can move the the canvas. Okay. Now this line is nice and smooth, and you can go back and edit it too if it's not quite the way you want. Um, Spiro paths edit a little bit differently from regular paths. Okay. One thing I'm going to do because this little line is going into a crease in his little jammy pants there, I'm going to change the cap on it. Right now it's a square cap, and I'm going to change it to a round cap. Uh, to do that, you open the Fill and Stroke panel, which is Control shift f I already have it open. But then you click on Stroke Style, and if you go down here to the cap, uh, make sure it's selected, I can click on the round cap, and that makes that round, which is a nicer, if you're, if you're incorporating that into your design. Okay? Now, one thing you have to do, if you were to just import this or try to do any operations on it, it's not going to act like a regular stroke. Like if I go and do stroke to path, you can see it makes it jagged. But what you can do is select that and go up to path, object to path. And now that turns it into a regular stroke line, and you can edit it the same as you would a normal stroke. Okay? And then you have to change it before you're going to do anything else to it. So. I'll go over that again when I draw this one. So now I'm going to draw this curve. So back on the Bezier, make sure Spyro's clicked. I'm going to zoom in, start right here, and just start following that curve along. And then I'm using the scroll bar on my mouse to move the canvas this time. OK. Minus to zoom out. And that looks pretty good to me, so I'm just going to change it to a path. Object, uh, so path, object to path, or you can do a keyboard shortcut, which is shift control C, and I like keyboard shortcuts because they're fast, so shift control C, and now that is changed into a regular stroke, and you can go back and edit it like so. Okay, so that's just a little tip. Um, I find it helps me go faster tracing certain types of things, like around here, it's nice and smooth. This is a smooth curve, and um, it's just easier than going in and uh, manipulating all the nodes. So I hope that helps. I will talk to you later.